What's up guys, welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at this beast, the Kensington Studio Doc. Yeah, take your iPad to the next level with this bad boy, I'm telling you right now. Uh, this thing, one, I was super surprised at the size. Uh, this is actually supporting the 12.9 inch below, so um, you can definitely use this with your the, the biggest size iPad out there down to you know even make the 10 and a half 11 inch iPads so what this does this basically makes the iPad um, I think takes it to the next level for productivity uh, and you're gonna see that this dock probably is the dock of docks um, so if you're sitting on the dock of the bay you know then this is the dock that you're gonna be you know wanting on the bay saying that right all right, some cheesy lines, I know. Okay, I just made that up. I didn't write that. Okay, so this here bad boy, again, from Kensington, is just a beast. And we're going to open this up. We're going to set up an iPad setup. And so let's take a look. It's USB-C iPad Pro 11 2018 or later. And iPad Air 2020 or later. So there's what you got covered, right? So they're just going on... Um, you know, kind of years versus sizing, really. And so if we flip this over in the back, you know, there's not a lot on the box. I'm just kind of showing you the box art. Um, so creativity, adjustability, uh, Apple ecosystem charging, single 4K video output, uh, SD card reader, and expansion ports. You get three uh, looks like USB Type A's, one Type C, a 3.5 millimeter jack for plugging in the headsets, and a gigabit Ethernet adapter. All oh, hopefully you can see right down here on the very back. Um, so uh, also in this box you get the actual dock. The it looks like a very big sized power brick and a bunch of different cables uh, to get this bad boy going. And we'll unbox this and be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. So we have the Studio Doc unboxed, and as you can see, everything that you get in the box is laid out here. Uh, so you really get a lot of stuff that you probably won't need. Um, you get a power cable for just about every country imaginable. Um, so. You know, throw these into your travel bag if you don't have an adapter um, because it's got every friggin' one. So here is a U.S. version with ground. Um, so you've got this. You've got your brick. This thing is a brick. Um, so you're definitely going to have uh, some power. And then, oddly enough, it's got this one here. It's got like a two-prong U.S. version, but it's got a ground uh, cable. So a little different. Um, so like I said, I think they pretty much got you covered for all options uh, that you're going to need for powering this bad boy. So let's take a quick look. They do have a a little uh, studio dock what goes where. Um, so obviously the iPad will go into this little magnetic mount. Uh, it shows here you can uh, wirelessly charge AirPods, AirPods Pro, iPhone 8 uh, or later. So that's what this little pad right here is. Uh, then you also have, if you can find it, uh, an Apple Watch charging adapter that would go over here, but uh, does not come with. That's a separate accessory. Uh, and then everything else, we can look at the ports here. So you've got like a standard, you've got three USB-A, 3.2 Gen 1s. They are 5 volt uh, or 0.9 amps. And you get an Ethernet uh, 10, 100, 1000, so basically a gig Ethernet adapter. Two Kensington... Uh, uh, security slots. One is a nano and one's a regular. So if you're uh, setting this up for a business or something like that, uh, it does have some Kensington locks that you can use to support. Of course, Kensington locks, right? Um, and then it has a USB-C uh, 3.2 Gen 1 port, which also is 5 volts 3 amps and 9 volt 2.2 amps. And then a 4K uh, 380, 3, 3840 by 2160 at 60 hertz. Uh, and it is an HDMI 2.0 port uh, that is actually over uh, in the back. 
And then again on this side, uh, and it's got an SD card reader, a 3.5 uh, combo audio port. So it's microphone and headphones. So uh, you can plug in, like I said, headsets with a microphone on it and use this for audio. So uh, very, very cool. Let's just go over it here real quick. Here's the actual beast of its uh, thing here. Um, so there's your, your wireless charge pads. You've got LEDs. Uh, there's your headphone jack with microphone. There's your SD card. Um, as I mentioned on the back, <clears throat> there's your ports, Kensingtons, Nanos, regular, three USB, 3.2s, gigabit, HDMI 4K, and your power in. And then over here, you've actually got a USB-C charge and then a power button. And then again, this, this thing weighs a ton. Uh, I'll tell you, it's a beast. Now, one thing we're going to look at too is, so again, you can rotate this, so you can do it vertical or horizontal, and then you can tilt this bad boy just about any viewing angle, as you can see here with that mechanism uh, under here, uh, and it, it, it feels very, very sturdy. So you have the ability to tilt this iPad uh, in many different viewing angles, which is actually really, really cool. Um, so let's pause the video here. What we're going to do is we're going to set this up um, kind of like a little workspace, but it's going to be iPad related. And what we're going to do is we're going to throw in this iPad Air uh, 11 inch. This is the 2020 edition uh, iPad Air. So it's got the um, the little you know things here, little ports, uh, and it's USB C. And very very lightweight. So we'll use that on this one because this one here is actually, there's two models of this. There's one that'll fit the 12.9 uh, iPad uh, Pros, and then this one here that fits uh, the smaller, right? And we kind of went over those, what the box said that this fits. So um, this fits the smaller of the iPads, and if you get the 12.9, obviously you're gonna have a bigger uh, size um, you know, display area where you're gonna mount this at and uh, go from there. So anyway, let's pause the video, we'll set this all up, we'll come back, and we'll check it out. All right guys, welcome back. As you can see here, we've got a nice little uh, setup here for a iPad. Um, as you can see here, we've got a Apple Magic Mouse. Uh, this is a Satechi uh, Slim X13 keyboard. Um, we have the Studio Dock uh, plugged in. And we've got the iPad in a uh, horizontal mode, and um, you know, again, we can do anything we want. That kind of gets it out of frame a little bit, but I'm just showing you that we can definitely change the angle on this bad boy. And let's just demonstrate this little charge pad here. So if I stick our, my AirPods Pro right here, we should see a little blue LED come on, and the AirPods start to charge. And if I stick my iPhone here, uh, it should kick in, if I can get it just right, maybe. There we go, and it's charging as well. And there are some blue LED lights down here basically showing that. Um, so, very, very cool. Now, again, we can plug in multiple things. Storage, we can plug in, um, you know, Ethernet. This becomes a pretty good powerhouse uh, for an iPad workstation and you know and we've got this magic mouse set up here so we can come in here and you know basically type what we want and kind of go from there now I did put Kensington in here and because there is their studio dock connect charge create and as you can see here we're pretty much mimicking this setup that they have featured here except I've got a nice little works work pad and a little bit nicer keyboard but as you can see here, and you know, you can use your trackpad, whatever you want to hook up to this bad boy, and just make this a great, great setup. And again, you can use this for um, Zoom calls. You know, you could, uh, you know, you can basically make this just like a desktop setup. Now, I do want to point out too that the Apple Pencil right here does have a little spot up top here that you could actually mount that. Uh, so there's no problem there. As you can see, the Apple Pencil screen comes up, and yep, we can just say continue, try scribble, uh, all that good stuff. So uh, we do have the ability to uh, use the Apple Pencil in the horizontal mode, but once we flip this to, um, 
Let's say continue. Done. Uh, we flip this up to like the vertical mode. Uh, obviously, the, the Apple Pencil, no, you can't really use it. You can still draw on it, but you can't store it up there and actually charge it um, is one of the things going on there. Again, the iPad is charging in this dock, so um, very, very good when it comes to just like a complete productivity powerhouse for an iPad. And again, you can use your pros. This happens to be an Air. And just go to town making an iPad your workstation. And I'm sure people will love this taking up the, the people that are already using the iPad specifically for uh, like a productivity workstation, no laptop or anything like that. This will just up your game that much more. Anyway, guys, check the show notes. I will have links to pretty much everything you see in here if you've got a question about the keyboard, the mouse, uh, of course, the dock. Um, and then just go from there, right? And, you know, I'm going to be using this. I might come back and update this just to give you a little more, uh, you know, feel for it and uh, what I think. But uh, from what I can tell right now, I think this is really going to make this a... Uh, a super more productivity uh, enhancer for an iPad setup. If you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the show, and as always, thanks for watching, and have a good one.